Yeah. Thank you, Graham and Tabiso. Well, we are here at Seven de Lan behind the scenes. And as you can see, lots of clothing behind me because we are in the wardrobe department. Now, when you think lights, camera, action, there's actually a lot of pre-production that gets involved. I'm here with actor Andre Lothar, who plays the character of Rikus Velman, as well as head of wardrobe, Ashlyn Nondorf. She's here with us today. And we're just really going to talk about characters getting into their clothing, the process that gets involved. And Andre, you are looking dapper today. Is this one of the outfits your character would wear? This is definitely one of the outfits. Um, usually he's like sporty combined with this, but now the, the direction with him is going more business-like, more formal like this, and I like it a lot. So, is this yeah. your favorite outfit? This is one of my favorite outfits, yeah, okay. definitely. The and color scheme, I mean, suits, I just feel dapper in it. Now, one of my questions is, when you step into your suit or your clothing for the day, do you feel like that's when the character is born, or is there a bit more of a process to Th it? That's, that's the process. So, um, you get on set and you have to do makeup that's the first process but me I start with getting my shoes or my uh, trousers on shoes and you start getting the character and especially with a with a suit or formal wear you feel more dapper you get into the character so yeah definitely and um, it helps it definitely yeah. helps and it looks good I mean when it comes to putting these looks together I can just imagine a lot of thinking and creativity involved Ashlyn you're the lady behind all of the looks I'm standing here and I'm overwhelmed by the amount of clothing that I'm seeing when you get a brief for a different actor or actress how do you make it how do, how do you work a brief when you receive it um, so we receive a character sketch basically from a uh, script department um, and the producer and we sit with the producer and the creative director and work out the look mostly based on career uh, what their profession is what they do in their spare time and then we also style them according to scripts okay and does a bit of their own personality get to filter through when it comes to constructing the looks uh, sometimes yes I would say so because I think some of their own personality is also in their character so um, yeah you do have a bit of uh, they touch every now and again. I love it and I mean I'm looking at some of these pieces and it's really really beautiful. How do you manage to keep the actors wardrobe up to date and trendy with what's going on in fashion at the moment? Okay so uh, we usually do a big shop twice a year um, that's seasonal so we'll do um, a summer spring summer and then an autumn winter range basically for each character and then we'll just top up weekly or monthly if if something is training or if they need a going out outfit or something specific. Oh, you're living the dream, like getting to shop and literally dress everyone. Andre, I know Seven Delon recently celebrated its 5,000th episode. What was that like for you being part of it? It was exciting. I mean, I've been watching Seven since the beginning. <laughs> and as, a, as a, a student actor, you always want to be part of it, you know. So being part of it now and ce celebrating 5,000 episodes and 20 years, that is ecstatic. And being able to, yeah, be part of it, the journey of Seven the, the, the new, the, the change of Seven on from, from studios, from kind of more drama soap driven than just soap driven. That is fantastic because as an actor, you want to play drama more than, you know, comedy. So, well, specifically me. So it's, it's, a, yeah, it's a special, special place to be, to be working imagine. at. Yeah. Have you ever walked off set with your character's clothing? Like, I have pretended to be him. I have walked <laughs> off with um, my watch and ring before, <laughs> but the wardrobe never, never the wardrobe, yeah, because it's, it's obvious, but the, the watch and the ring, you kind of, you don't really feel it, and because I wear a watch and ring as well, so with the ring and the watch, yes. Sorry, Ash. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Ashton, how do you keep track of everything? I mean, I'm looking at all of this here. Where do you even begin to start? Um, so basically each character has a certain section and I would say after we style or wrap the wardrobe we always place it back into that section but once you work with it every day you can recognize all the clothes and know exactly who it belongs to so it becomes quite easy if you do it every day. Well, I love that. I absolutely love it. I would love to come and work here, see all these clothing. In fact, just to come and shop and put an outfit together. Stay tuned. We have more. We're going to be catching up with KB, who plays the character of Lesejo. She's going to be on Lesedi, rather. She's going to, we're going to catch up with her in the makeup chair. And do not miss out on anything. Seven Delan, you can catch it every weeknight at 6 p.m. on SABC2.